What's good YouTube? Welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today I got another video in our 2022 NBA Draft Player Breakdown Series. Today I'm going to be looking at Iowa forward Keegan Murray. Keegan Murray is someone who is projected to be a pretty high lottery pick and so it should be a good video today. Make sure you leave your thoughts down on Keegan down in the comment section below. And with that being said, let's get into the video. So kind of just a quick intro on Keegan Murray. Keegan Murray is a 6'8", 225 pound sophomore forward from Iowa. He's originally from Cedar Rapids, Iowa. So he's someone who decided to stay home and play his college ball at his kind of home state school, I guess you could say. Now, as a freshman, he was just kind of a role player, uh, someone who came off the bench for most of the season, averaged about eight points, five rebounds a game, nothing crazy, and probably didn't really project at that time as an NBA player. He came back for his sophomore year and really burst onto the scene and became one of the best scorers in college basketball as well as one of just overall best players in college basketball averaging nearly 24 points a game eight nine rebounds two blocks a game and just like i said developed into uh, someone who, who became one of the best players in college basketball and now projects as a pretty high level lottery pick type guy So moving into some of the strengths for Keegan Murray, I think the big thing with Keegan Murray is his versatility. Being 6'8", 225 pounds, that allows him to be really versatile on both ends of the floor, kind of starting with his offensive game, which really in college revolved around his scoring ability and his ability to score at all three levels. It kind of starts with using his frame at 6'8", 225 pounds. He has the ability to be someone who can play a, a little bit with his back to the basket and punish smaller guys. You can't put a put a guard on him or you can't put a lighter wing on him as he, he has that frame and that size to, to punish them with his back to the basket. He can then step out and be someone who can shoot the three ball. He shot the ball, three ball, really effectively in, in his time in college. He was a 40% three point shooter his sophomore year on pretty decent volume at about five attempts a game and so he can definitely step out and knock down the three-point shot but then he's also someone who can in, in a couple of dribbles be someone who can get to that mid-range area and be an effective scorer shooting off the dribble and get to his spots that way and so i think offensively at the nba level that's going to be the big thing for keegan is how well can he knock down that three-point shot i think a lot of his game is going to be based on that i think he's going to be someone who's off the ball a ton he's not going to be someone who you're necessarily running your offense through and so i think he needs to be someone who can shoot the three ball at, at a pretty high clip and i think if his sophomore year at iowa is any indication of what he's capable of i think he can be really effective in that role now kind of moving on with the defensive ability of his game we're kind of going into that he's someone who is versatile on the defense end of the floor thanks to that that size that he has at 6'8 225 pounds it allows him to be able to guard multiple positions he's a good athlete he's a solid athlete who possesses some pretty good length with that size. I believe it's been reported he has a, a 6'11 wingspan. And so it gives him some positional flexibility defensively in terms of who he can guard and who he can match up with. I think he's someone who's definitely capable uh, of guarding multiple positions and being someone who can easily kind of fill that mold of a, a 3 and D type guy. I think that he's definitely capable of that. I think that now that his role in the NBA won't necessarily be being a team's leading scorer. He can focus a little bit more on that defensive end and become a high level defender as well as someone who can be a very serviceable to very good offensive player in the NBA. And then lastly, I, I kind of got into it there, but I just think a big strength for him at the NBA level is gonna be just his ability to fit in with multiple guys. I don't think he's gonna be someone who has to necessarily have the ball in his hands to be effective. I think he can be a really, really effective off the ball type guy and just fill a, a role at the NBA level, which is that coveted three and D type guy. I think he definitely is someone who, when it comes to the playoff time and you see 
guys get abused in switches and mismatches and stuff like that. I don't think he's going to be one of those guys. I think he's going to be someone who, who gives that team that flexibility to switch everything and be a, a solid defender. And then offensively, he can shoot the three ball, but there's more to his game than that. He can go off the drill. He can post up smaller guys. He can, he can find mismatches that way. And so I think just overall a, a big strength for Keegan is going to be his ability to fit in as a role guy but be an elite role guy. I think that's the big thing for him. Now, as far as weaknesses go for Keegan, I think the big question mark for him is gonna be his consistency as a shooter. He came in as a freshman and did not shoot the three ball well at all. Uh, he was under 30%, which is not good. Came back as a sophomore and improved that to 40% on pretty decent volume. But I think that question or, or that consistency is still going to be up in the air. Was it a kind of a fluke season? Is he going to be someone who can remain, you know, in the upper 30s to 40% range at the NBA level? We'll have to see. I think that's going to be something that's going to be key for him is he's going to have to be someone who can really knock down that three ball uh, to be a really, really effective or kind of maximize his potential at the NBA level. And that's going to be a question mark on him. I think some other question marks or weaknesses for him are kind of kind of be his discipline. Offensively, he tended to play a little careless or a little too wild. You can speed him up. You can get him forcing the issue a little too much uh, at times offensively. Now at the NBA, he won't necessarily be a team's go-to score, at least right away, and he won't be seen other teams best defenders or there won't be game plans to necessarily stop him and so it'll be interesting to see how that translates to the nba level and then defensively he he was a little undisciplined he didn't he didn't uh just gambled a little bit too much uh could have been a little more positionally sound on that end of the floor use his size his length that stuff to his advantage instead of just kind of playing wild taking gambles things like that and so he'll have to clean that up uh, once he gets to the NBA. Overall, I like Keegan Murray. I think that he's going to be a, a pretty good NBA player. I just don't know if I would necessarily take him with like a top five type pick in the draft, which I've seen some mock drafts have him as like the fifth best player in this draft. I think he's going to be a great role player. I think he's someone who can fit in and play multiple positions for a team. I just don't know if he that's that's necessarily worth a top five pick. I definitely would take him in the top 10. I would lean closer to like that 10 spot for him. But I think he's going to be someone who has a long, productive NBA career. I just don't know if he's going to be a team's leading scorer or go-to guy type guy. I think he can play or play a role and fit in with some other really good players, but will he be the go-to guy? Probably not, which I would probably lean to then not taking him with a top five pick. And so those are my thoughts on Keegan Murray. Leave your thoughts down in the comment section below. Let me know what you think of him, all that. And with that being said, I'll talk to you guys later.